Now we are standing in the music-related motion capture laboratory here at the Department of Musicology. And in this lab, we are studying uh, music-related body movements with different types of technologies and methods. There are uh, different, different methods when we study uh, music-related body movements. Uh, we typically work with camera-based systems and also with sensor-based systems. And today we're going to show you different types of these systems, how we work with them and how we also analyze the data. First now, we're going to look at one system that we call an optical uh, marker-based motion capture system. And here we have one of these cameras. We have many of these cameras around this space. And they each send out infrared light being reflected on a marker. So something like this that Christian has on. So when we work with this, we typically take on a suit, as we're going to do, and then we work in the space and record the body movement and then we analyze it afterwards. So let's try. So the idea now is that we put these reflective markers on all the body joints so that we are able to track them separately. And then from the front and the back, it's also important to be able to differentiate the different sides. So we typically put, for example, one here, but also one asymmetrical one, so that it's possible to see that this is the back side of the body. This uh, optical motion capture system is extremely sensitive to motion. Uh, so that means that we need to calibrate it each time we use it to really so get good point. results. So this is where my reference system will be because I record the X, Y and Z positions in space. So there are three, three axes that we record and they are based in this frame. And then I have this wand with markers on it and with a very specific length. So it's possible to measure exactly how good and precise the system is at any point in time. So now we are ready to start a uh, real recording. Here we can see all the uh, images from each of the cameras and I also have a 3D representation of the space in question. And then we are ready to record. One, two, three, go! And as we see here in this overview, we get um, all the dots from all the different cameras and then they can be combined into a 3D image like this. And the nice thing about such a system like we have here, we're able to move around and look, about and look at the, the movements of the body from different angles and perspectives and even zoom in on, on details. So now we're looking at the, um, at the recording of, uh, of your movements and um, if I start the playback here we can, we can take a look at the different markers and um, the nice thing about such a motion capture system is that we're able to, to rotate around and look at this from different perspectives. Another thing is that we can also turn on trajectories so we can actually look at how the movements are changing over time. And this also makes it easy to uh, isolate out, say, the vertical component of the movement, if we're interested in, in that, and also to calculate the velocity and the acceleration yeah, uh, that's rotation. True. Let's, let's try to do that. So we can, we can, for example, take out one of these markers and, and look at a plot of, of the set position, which is the up and down movement of this particular marker. where you can see this repetitive pattern over time in the up and down movements. Uh, so to try to summarize then, um, from your experience, what are the good things about working in a lab like this and, and are there any bad ones? Well, the, the main advantage of working with this type of motion capture system is the high accuracy you get from the recordings. You get uh, you're able to record the markers down to a 0.1 millimeter precision, which is uh, state of the art, really. And also at very high speeds. At very high speeds, uh, up to 500 hertz is no problem. Even more act uh, is actually possible. Uh, the downside is really that you need a big space to be able to do it, and preferably a, a fixed location where the motion capture system can be attached because it takes a long time to set it up and uh, to calibrate and uh, 
and also even to put on a suit like this. Mm. So to try to summarize then, um, this type of motion capture lab is in many ways the best you can do when it comes to uh, getting very, very good and accurate results. But if we want to be more flexible uh, when we work with music-related body movement, we need to use other techniques.